All right, with his longtime trainer and coach Gus Carissi firmly in his corner, here is the former heavyweight king, Andre Bishop. Of course, as many of you know, he avenged his brother's loss to rival Isaac Frost, an epic 10-rounder, and then transitioned really well to mixed martial arts. Tonight, we'll see if he can take that requisite step forward and take his career to the next level. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. Referee for this one. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go. All right, so Andre Bishop ready to produce on a big stage here tonight. We'll see how early on his takedown defense holds up. Prevailing wisdom is that the opposition at one time or another is going to try to take this fight to the canvas. You know what Bishop can do on the feet? Plus jab, power in both hands, manages distance well. But when forced to wrestle and grapple, how will this game hold up? Could get some answers here early, Joe. Pretty strong leg kick there, Joe, by the last kiss. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. That knee might have landed there. Tying him up here in the clinch. Velazquez has got the double underhooks here in the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do. The way he passes the guard is just a, a thing of beauty. He's back up to his feet. Velazquez goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, man. Defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. And a nice jab. He's fainting with the punch. Oh, a nice shot there, Joe. 
Oh, straight right. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Velasquez gets back up again. Nicely done. He pummels in. Now he's got double underhooks. He postures into place. He's got it. Full mount. In half guard. Trying to spin to the back. Back to the guard position. He moves into half guard. Oh, he postures up and lands a massive elbow. Now the hammer fist here by Velasquez. Just over two minutes, round one. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice punch there by Velasquez. Big shot. He lands with the left. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Velasquez. Big punch from the top. Inside control. Excellent movement here on the ground. Tries to pass, but can't. He's in half guard. Final minute of round one. Tags him. And is he as he looks to improve position here? He's in side control now. He goes to the knee to the body, and it's there. 45 seconds remain in the round. He's looking to take the back. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Showing some good defense here, trapping that arm. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He's now working from half guard. Now he gets the full mount again. Round two is next. Huh? And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Lots of action in that round. Jenny Entourage to get us going. Round two underway. And he's looking for that left. Good defense there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Bishop gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combat.
combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Side control here. Good control, postures up. Now he's in full guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Lands a strike there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice hand with fist. Three minutes now to go in round two. Caught him in a punch. Big body punch. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Bishop. Velazquez's hammer fist there. That one gets blocked. Pretty significant well to the left side. Back to half guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Bishop. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here oh, on the ground. For a choke here. This could be tough. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way, clasp the two hands together, drop his... He got it! He got it! Nicely done. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game, and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 37 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out, King Velasco! So congratulations are in order to the former two-time UFC heavyweight champion, Cain Velasquez, still a guy who many believe is the greatest heavyweight in UFC history. Not sure if this performance alone is enough for him to get an immediate crack at the title, but he certainly did everything within his power tonight to prove that he is still very much a force to be reckoned with in this UFC heavyweight division.